Hey, what's up, Lightbolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2001 animated feature film, Shrek. This is the first CGI animated feature film from DreamWorks. They did uh, Prince of Persia, they did Sinbad, they did um, Road to El Dorado, 90s, early 2000s. But this is the first like CGI film. And for this to be the first CGI in 2001 from a rival competitor to Disney and Pixar, right? Because Pixar's first thing was Toy Story in, in 95. So this is only six years after Toy Story came out. It's so weird to think how time works. Time is weird. Um, so this, this is a pretty great film. This is a pretty incredible film. It's, it's fast. It, it mixes different fairy tale creatures together. Shrek is an ogre. He lives in a swamp. He, uh, inadvertently gets a bunch of different fairy tale house guests who sent all the fairy tale Lord Farquaad sent all the fairy tale creatures um from Duloc into Shrek Swamp because he doesn't want the fairy tale vitriol filthing up his streets, right? So Shrek uh comes across this talking donkey. Donkey, voiced by Eddie Myers. Ed Eddie Myers. Eddie Murphy. And so the two of them go to Duloc to talk to Lord Farquaad and Lord Farquaad quests Shrek to rescue his future bride, Princess Fiona, from a tower that's surrounded by lava and a dragon. And if he gets the princess back, then he will then grant uh, the fairy tale creatures removed from Shrek Swamp. So it's like a tit for tat kind of a thing. I'll do this for you, you do this for me. Even though Farquaad put the fairy tale creatures in the swamp to begin with, but whatever. So they're Shrek and Donkey are on a whirlwind adventure. Movie so quotable, it's so memeable, all, you know, 20 one years later it's it's such a it's such a great classic film absolutely love it i'm sorry the fifth one is coming out at some point so they save princess fiona fiona has a secret that she turns into an ogre at night uh by night one way by day another this shall be the, the norm until you find true love's first kiss and then take love's true form it's good old poetry and then the classic ah, 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 ah. It's just a score and a theme throughout the entire franchise and then other Disney, uh, other DreamWorks projects throughout. That takes the uh, title song uh, for the DreamWorks with the Kid in the Moon. Beautiful. It, it's sort of a revolution. So they save the princess. The secret's revealed. Shrek falls in love with Princess Fiona. She still is going to marry Farquaad thinking that Shrek doesn't like her. And then, you know, they make up and live in the swamp happily ever after. So we think. But... The soundtrack of this was incredible. Like, us millennials, we millennials, associated Alleluia, uh, the song Alleluia, to this film. Um, Smash Mouth had two hit songs in this. They had All Star and uh, Now I'm a Believer in, the, well, their version of it in this in this um, movie. It's just, it's so fast. It's so energetic. This, there's actually a musical of this, which we have to talk about at some point. There's a musical. It's called Shrek the Musical. It was on Broadway for a little while. Um... I think Sutton Foster played Princess Fiona, and she Sutton does a great job with everything she does. Uh, that's on Netflix. We have to we have to watch that again. We got to talk about that after we watch all of our Shrek films. So there's there's a bunch of short story Shrek films as well. There's a bunch of holiday specials. There's a spooky story special. There's a, a Shrek the Hall special. I don't know if we talked about that. I got to look into that. Uh, now we're on our Shrek marathon. On to the Shrek two, <laughs> which mahalo.